Hi, in this video, we will talk about ERA's multi-cluster capability. As you know, ERA is a database as a service on the Nutanix platform. From ERA's 2.0 version, multi-cluster allows customers to use ERA to manage databases across multiple clusters and availability zones. In this demo, we will show you how you can use ERA to register additional clusters. In our example, we have ERA deployed in the Phoenix data center on an AHV cluster. Additionally, we will add an ESX cluster in Maryland and another AHV cluster in Chicago. We would configure the necessary VLANs and network profiles and then provision a Postgres database using ERA on Maryland. We would then snapshot this particular database and use that for copy data management purposes and create a clone out of that on the Chicago data center. Before ERA can manage multiple clusters, we have to enable the multi-cluster capability. This is a one-time operation or config, and it's irreversible. We would go to the administration section and enable multi-cluster. As part of this operation, an agent VM gets created. We could optionally pick a prefix for this VM and provide a VLAN with static IP addressing. Once multi-cluster is enabled, we can add more clusters to ERA. We can go to the Nutanix cluster section and register a new cluster. Since this is an ESX cluster, we need to provide vCenter details. We then provide networking details for the agent VM on that cluster, followed by picking a storage container for provisioning or cloning databases on that cluster. As you can see, the clusters have been successfully added. Now let's proceed by adding networks and creating profiles for these clusters before we could use them for provisioning or cloning purposes. Let's add a network for the ESX cluster first. Let's create a network profile out of the recently added VLAN. Let's create a Postgres network profile. Also, before we could provision databases, we need to replicate a software profile to that cluster. Either the profile could be already present on that cluster, or we could replicate it from an existing cluster in ERA. In this case, we would just replicate an existing profile. Let's provision a database now. As you can see on the provisioning page, now we can pick a cluster where the database should be provisioned. Other than this, the provisioning workflow stays ident identical. Once the database is created, we could replicate the time machine backups or snapshots to other clusters. Under the time machine page, now we have a new section called data access management. Customers can set a policy where they can choose to replicate snapshots of this time machine to a different cluster. Let's add that policy. Let's replicate the backups to the Chicago cluster and pick the SLA. Customers can also manually replicate one or more of these snapshots. Let's take a manual snapshot and replicate to the Chicago cluster. Let's use a recently replicated manual snapshot on Chicago to create a clone. Pick the right cluster, pick the option to create a clone, pick the snapshot that's present on that cluster and the rest of the clone workflow remains identical. To recap, we had an ERA instance running in Phoenix. We then added two more clusters to ERA, one an ESX cluster in Maryland and the other an AHV cluster in Chicago. We then added the necessary VLANs and profiles and created a Postgres database in Maryland. We then created some snapshots, added a data access management policy that replicates the snapshots to Chicago and created a clone at the Chicago cluster. This concludes our demo. Thanks for watching.